Hi everyone, uh, it's Mark from Freight Farms. Uh, welcome to the next installation of Grow Together. In this iteration, we are going to be growing Li Ren Choi, Bok Choi, uh, and today we're going to be seeding. Okay, here are our uh, Bok Choi seeds. We're planting Li Ren Choi, Bok Choi from Johnny Seeds. Um, and we are going to be planting one channel of, or rather one plant panel of these. Um, and so uh, we're gonna be growing 15 plants per channel in three channels. Uh, and so we are going to plant uh, 52 uh, seeds here. Um, we're gonna overplant a little bit. We're gonna expect all of them to germinate, um, but we um, are going to probably select for about 45 uh, for transplanting. Uh, and we'll be updating as they, as they germinate. Our bok choy planted here, uh, we are going to be putting them in our nursery area um, where they're going to remain for uh, three weeks, one week with our humidity domes, and then two weeks without before we transplant them. Okay, so we've got our seeds in our nursery area here. We've got our tags indicating when they were seeded and our varieties. One of the things that you'll notice is that uh, on its own, this tray has a slight bend to it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a prop. This is a plastic prop here. You can use something like a, a carriage tray maybe, or uh, rather a carriage bolt. Um, and if you prop that underneath, see how it's nice and level, that ensures that all of our seedlings are going to receive adequate um, moisture as the uh, trough fills. We've been growing wheat ren choy, bok choy. We're about two and a half weeks into the process. So we're gonna take a look at our plants and give you guys some updates and feedback on what to do next. Okay, so first we're gonna take a look at our Li Ren Choi Bok Choi. It was planted on November 11th. Um, and what you can see here is it's fairly large. It's getting ready for transplants. It's about two and a half weeks. Uh, you can also see some yellowing here. Um, some of it is to be expected. You'll see these differently shaped leaves here. These are what are called the cotyledons. They're the first leaves to emerge. Um, and they will eventually yellow and fall off. You can actually see a few of them that have fallen off over here. Um, the rest of them, uh, these top leaves like that, those are gonna be the adult leaves and that's what we really care about. Um, the amount of yellowing that you can see in this tray is actually a little bit more than we, what we would normally expect. Um, so I would suggest that this is a nitrogen deficiency um, and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna flush our tank for our seedling tank. We, we flushed our main tank last week, uh, but our seedling tank could do uh, with a flushing and that should improve the health of these um, as we prepare to transplant them. It's week three of our Grow Together series with Li Ren Choi, Bok Choi. Here are our uh, crops that we planted at the beginning of this process. Um, you can see that uh, since flipping over our tanks, our bok choy has become slightly less yellow, which is looking good. These are going to be nice and healthy as adult uh, plants. Okay, so the first step when we're transplanting is that we're going to be removing our seedlings from our seed trays here. Uh, and the way to do that is to use a pair of tweezers. It may be tempting to try to go at our seedlings with this end of the tweezer, uh, but we're going to use the back end. The way to remove these is really to get that and right underneath your seedling all the way down and really kind of scoop from the bottom so that you keep those roots intact. Once you get it mostly out, you can use your thumb and pull it out like this. Uh, and you can see those roots look great. Those are gonna be really nice and healthy uh, in our cultivation area. Now, as you are taking your seedlings out of the seed tray, you'll notice that most of them will look pretty good, um, but some of them may be a little bit shorter um, or some of them may have barely germinated at all. Uh, and that's to be expected. Um, that's typically why we end up planting more than what we need. Uh, just be a little bit choosy when you're selecting which seedlings are gonna go into your cultivation area because happy, healthy seedlings are gonna make happy, healthy adult plants. You'll also notice that a whole bunch of those cotyledons, those, those baby leaves fall off in the process of removing them from the seed tray. And again, that's to be expected uh, these are, you know, your baby leaves and they're, they're, they're going to fall off. Um, you do not need to worry about them because they will not be present in the adult plants. Um, all of your uh, adult plants will, uh, will grow from these leaves here. Okay, so we've got our baby bok choy all laid out in our uh, grow panel here. Um, and we have seedlings in channels 1, 3, and 5. 
um, and the, there are 15 plants per channel, um, nice and evenly spaced so that channels one and five are aligned and it's kind of interspaced with um, our third channel here, which gives them the optimal space for growing as they get larger. Um, we are going to be putting these into the channel um, and um, allowing them to grow for either four or five weeks. We're going to show you what the difference looks like between a four-week bok choy and a five-week bok choy, uh, which, as we mentioned before, is really going to come down to that root structure, which really develops in that fifth week. Uh, you're going to get a lot of growth in that last fifth week, um, but possibly um, have to put in a lot more labor for cleaning out your wicking strips and your foam. Okay, so we've got our seedlings transplanted here. You'll notice that all of them have been planted with a slight angle this way towards the top of this panel, uh, such that when this is hanging vertically, these are all going to be growing out and slightly up um, so that um, they are working uh, against gravity slightly so that they're, they're not drooping down. That will prevent water from, um, from going over the leaves themselves they'll grow nice and happy and healthy that way. This right here is our Lee Rain Choy Bok Choy. It is at four weeks. It's ready to harvest. A uh, really nice green stem that's part of the Lee Ren Choy uh, cultivar there. Um, and so we'll take a look at what that looks like as well. Um, I have a feeling we'll probably harvest some of this today at four weeks show you what the root development looks like, and we'll let some of it go to five weeks just to see what the difference in yield is and also what the difference is with those roots where we'll really be struggling with getting some of those roots out of the, the wicking strip material there. So let's get to it. Okay, so we've got our bok choy here on our nursery table. Um, it's looking really nice and healthy. Uh, we ended up doing 15 per channel, three channels, one, three, and five. Um, which really gave these the space to spread out. Um, this has been in our cultivation area for about four weeks. Um, so we're actually going to harvest channels one and three today, and oh, sorry, one and five today, and save our middle channel uh, and let it grow to five weeks, um, just to show you what the difference is in root development. Um, what I do want to show you is on this end, uh, we've got a whole bunch of roots that are kind of snaking out the bottom here. Um, these roots do get really aggressive. Uh, so letting these go to five weeks, the real trade-off with the size is gonna be try to kind of battling the roots. Uh, you might have to do some, some cleanup afterwards just to make sure that those roots aren't wrecking havoc on your foam. Um, but yeah, uh, that's, that's kind of the, the trade-off. So uh, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna show you how to get these out, uh, being really careful of um, our bottom leaves. Okay, so a little bit tricky to do here with one hand. I'm gonna do my best to try to get you a good view. Um, but we're gonna lift up here and you'll see uh, that these bottom leaves are really kind of fragile. So um, don't worry too, too much if you do break one, just do some cleanup quality control sort of thing. Um, but the, you're gonna harvest them kind of the same way that you do lettuces, where you're gonna get this whole thing. So I'm gonna take my finger and stick it way down into the foam underneath the roots and kind of lift up get it all the way around and lift it up there. Let's see how I did. Oh, I did break that bottom one, but you know what? Accidents happen. Um, easier to do with, with two hands. Oh, I did break that one too. Oh boy. Um, so you'll see that the uh, bottom plug here is attached. Um, this is uh, good if you want to keep it attached. You can keep this plant healthier for longer. It's gonna last longer. If you are worried about how it looks to customers, you can cut that off right down at the bottom. Um, we'll give this a shot and see what our yields are. Mm -hmm. We have our crops management here from Farmhand. And we're looking at about 51 grams with the plug. Um, minus the plug weight, that's about 41 uh, grams of actual plant. Not bad. All right, I want to show you a close-up here of how difficult it is to get these roots out of here. Uh, it's nearly impossible not to break these bottom leaves as we kind of get under the plug here. I'll stick with it. Be really, really gentle. And lift, lift, lift. There we go, it just pops out. 
Uh, these bottom leaves are really, really delicate, so just be very careful as you're trying to get it out. Um, these roots get really, really aggressive, so just be really delicate as you're getting these out of your, uh, of your channels. Um, we'll take a look at the yield on this one. Got about 34.1. I just want to use this opportunity to look at this particular plant that I just harvested. Uh, this bok choy plug actually has two plants that are growing out of it. Uh, we didn't do a, a thorough enough job while uh, trimming this and making sure that there was only one leaf uh, coming out or one plant coming out. Um, and while it might initially make sense to say, you know, two seeds per plug, we're gonna, we'll get more plant. Uh, what actually ended up happening was that these were in competition with each other and it ended up being a little bit smaller uh, than the other plants that are in this panel. They don't quite look as nice if you're trying to market these to customers. Um, so always make sure that you're paying attention while you're seeding to get one seed per plug and try to catch that before you get it into the cultivation area. Okay, so not bad. We just harvested our first channel of bok choy here. Um, we got about 610 grams uh, from that channel after four weeks, uh, which is excellent. Um, We're going to let them go to five weeks and we'll see what the difference is in our yield there. Um, the roots on these were a little bit tough uh, to pull out. They, they're pretty aggressive. We'll see what one week difference makes when it comes to pulling these out of the foam. Hi everybody, uh, we are doing an update here on our five week bok choy, uh, which is really exploded in the last week since our week four harvest. Um, so I just wanted to give you an overview, look at some of that yield data and show you some of those challenges with the roots uh, after having them grow for an additional week or so. Um, so let's take a look. Okay, so here are our bok choy. Um, they've really kind of exploded in that last week. Uh, if you recall, we harvested from channels one and five at week four. Uh, some of these we've done a trim harvest on just to demonstrate to some of our new customers how to do a trim harvest. Uh, but we're going to pull these out of the channels uh, and we're going to get some yield data to show you uh, what kind of yield you can expect at five weeks. So I'm going to try to get this, uh, this plant out here. It's going to take a little bit of work. I'm not even sure if I'm going to be able to do it with one hand. Um, at this point, at you know five weeks or so, it is really more worth it to use something like a harvest knife and just cut along uh, the bottom and clean it up. Um, and I'm going to show you what I mean here. I'm going to get on underneath and try to keep these 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 uh, bottom leaves okay. But as I pull up, you'll notice that that whole foam and uh, wicking strip starts to come up as well. Um, these are some really serious roots uh, that really get in there, which is what we've been talking about this whole grow. Um, but I will show you kind of the benefit of having a five-week grow here. We've got our scale here. It's going to be teared out at zero grams. I put this in here. It's about 133 grams, uh, which is significantly more than what we were getting at four weeks. Also for some clarity, uh, we've cut off the, uh, the plug here, uh, just to give an estimate here. It's about 12 grams or 0.4 ounces for the plug itself. Um, so as I'm giving these numbers, those were with the plug, um, you can kind of subtract 0.4 ounces or 12 grams from those totals uh, for an estimate on, on saleable uh, mass. Now, one of the requests that I had in my last video uh, was to make sure that I gave these in imperial units as well. 134 grams is about 4.7 ounces. So significantly more than what we were getting at four weeks. Um, again, you have to look at that trade-off where some of those bottom leaves are not gonna make it out if you just pull them out, but using that harvest knife might be a better solution there. So here is a really good example of uh, a bok choy that came out uh, with a little bit of struggle. You'll notice again, these bottom leaves, uh, some of them get a little crunched in that process, but look at this root that's kind of going down, this, this kind of taproot-y situation. This is what we're combating when we're pulling it up and what snaps most of the time when we're getting these plugs out. Um, but this is what kind of digs into that foam in the wicking strips. Um, if we take a look here uh, in terms of mass, this is a, a 123, 124, 125 gram uh, plant. So, 
Um, definitely over four ounces, which is great. Um, but, you know, again, uh, got to look at that trade-off with that, that root structure when you're working to uh, clean your wicking strips later. So after five weeks in our cultivation area, we have some final yield data for our bok choy. At four weeks, our plants were averaging 1.6 ounces per head. That's not very high. But after just five weeks, they were averaging 4.4 ounces per head. That's an increase of 175% in one week. So to recap, we planted 45 plants per channel. If you were to maximize that number of plants in your farm, you could be harvesting 990 plants per week, though allowing them to go to five weeks will probably increase your yield numbers. At $2 per head, you could be making $1,980 per week. At selling them for $2.50 per head, you could be making $2,475 per week. That's all from one delicious cruciferous cabbage. Well, that's it for us this time. We hope that you found this episode helpful and encourage you to grow along with us in our next episode of Grow Together.